Well, Rogers, if there's one thing I've learned in eight years of podcasting is that certain aircraft are far more interesting to our audience than others. Certainly anything that's painted black, SR-71, U-2, and the F-117. Now, the last time you were in here a couple of years ago, we talked about all the aircraft you flew, but you didn't fly the F-117, as I understand, but you had a hand in it. How is that possible? It is true. I did not fly the 117, but it's, I did fly an airborne simulator that was fundamentally a T-33 that you could fly from the, you could fly in the front seat through a computer that we could program so that your responses would be like the 117. And I'm in the back as a safety pilot. I can punch you out if you get into a dangerous situation and take you out and fly the airplane. That's a variable stability airplane we call. And so we did actually, uh, when we do training, we do also training at the test pilot schools. At the Air Force School, I was asked, would I go down and to somebody and talk to somebody? And I went down to talk to somebody in obviously a black world. And they asked me detailed questions then about the capabilities of the T-33 to simulate the dynamics, program the computer to emulate other airplanes. They knew that. They wanted to know if I could do their airplane without telling me what their airplane was. Ah. Obviously, it was a secret airplane. <laughs> With a little bit of a struggle, we got the data and we put a simulation together in our computer. And then we flew with some people that I didn't really know at that time uh, at Edwards and then also at Buffalo to look at this simulation we had. And actually with the T-33, with me as a safety pilot, they could land it, land the T-33 on that system. And then I could press the button and, or they could actually go around in it because we have a safety pilot. So years later, a couple of years later, it was announced that the 117 existed and they gave a public paper at a Society of Experimental Test Pilots meeting where they acknowledged that they had flown the, our version of the 117 and that it made a big difference to them. And I think they could fly in that, the unaugmented version with their augmentation computers turned off because they like to make first flights without depending on that. They learned that it was not very good without all the computers. So they tried to take off, they did take off, got airborne, and quickly the pilot, Hal Farley, realized that it was not good <laughs> and was able to flip on the augmentation. He knew how bad it could be. They couldn't change some of the fundamentals of this strange looking vehicle uh, from the aerodynamics point of view. And so, yes, I was there and I landed in the back watching people land a whole host of airplanes because the United States, we, that was the United States Air Force airplane. And they used that not only for research, but prior to first flight of a lot of airplanes. So when I think of a simulator, I think of a box with the displays and the mock-ups in a room. You're saying you took a T-33 and the person in the front, let's say it's me, I could get in the front and based on what we've loaded for that day, I can pretend I'm flying something and maybe I'm keeping a secret from you so I know I'm flying this new, yeah. what's going to be the F-117. You're just in the back, you know it's going to be different, but you've got a button to get us out of trouble and make it back into a T-33. Exactly right. And we did that at the schools, as I mentioned, because we could have them fly uh, if they want to see a highly unstable airplane that they're likely never going to fly. You can show them that. What's it like to land uh, an airplane that's more unstable than the Wright brothers? Uh, and again, it's safe. The safety is guaranteed by the safety pilot who has to remain alert in the back with his finger near a button, <laughs> thumb, uh, to press it as soon as something goes wrong or you want to do it over. Yeah. So you never flew the F-117 the way we all think of its shape and color and everything else, but you flew an airborne simulator of it. That's true. 